Hello there, Amanda Davis here, Avon Independent Sales Representative, and I am the face behind Amanda's Beauty Alcove. And so thank you for tuning in, whether you are watching this live or on the replay. Um, it's been a while since I've been live uh, directly through Facebook on my computer, so bear with me a minute <laughs> as I look around and hopefully everything is going to be okay. Um, but anyway, I'm going to go ahead and move forward as if we are all good. So again, thank you for watching. I do appreciate it. Thank you for tuning in. My topic in tonight's video is, is it time to clean out your makeup bag? Um, I know that it was time to clean mine out. Uh, as you can see, it's kind of full. And so I'm going to give you some general guidelines on when you should replace your makeup. Um, obviously, we all, I, I say we all, but maybe it's not we all, but a lot of us are guilty of having our makeup sometimes stick around for a little bit too long or it's like something that's your favorite and maybe you can't get it anymore or whatever the case is. Uh, but there are some general guidelines on how long you should keep your makeup. So I'm going to go through just a few of them in this video. And then if you would like to have, if you have any questions about anything that I don't go over, you can feel free to to go ahead and comment and I will respond to your comment. Um, I'm also going to post this video to YouTube so if you end up watching this on YouTube and you have a question you can feel free to comment there as well. And so again thank you for watching and let's go ahead and jump right in. So the first thing that I'm going to do is probably one that a lot of us um, are guilty of and that is mascara. <laughs> so this is um, the Avon Kathy Cat. Uh, it's the Curl and Flare Mascara. Um, but with your mascara, you want to replace that pretty much every three months. So it's a good guideline quarterly, seasonally, new year. Um, probably time to replace your mascara, especially if you know it's been a little bit. Um, the other thing, so the whole reason I'm going into this is obviously our makeup over time there's going to be uh, bacteria that collects so depending on what type of makeup depends on uh, if it's going to collect it easier or not and the general guideline is if you are sick like if you have pink eye and you use your mascara you're going to want to replace it so um, sorry stuff is popping up. Anyway, I'm going to keep going. You're going to have to replace it. So what you want to do to minimize your bacteria is when you open up your mascara, instead of pumping, if you need more, you just gently put it and turn it and then unturn it. And that's going to help with mascara and the bacteria in mascara. But you still should replace it about every three months. That's pretty much um, across the board with any mascara. You want to replace it about every three months. Um, with lip products, it's suggested that if you get any sort of cold sore or anything like that, that you might want to replace it. I know personally if I have like a head cold or um, if I get sick in any way, I will sometimes replace my mine depending on what I did use or didn't use during the time frame that I was sick. Um, but in a, other than being sick, a general rule of thumb for your lipstick is to replace it about every year. Um, this particular color of lipstick is Avon's Glimmer Satin Lipstick and Wildflower. And actually, while we're here, I'll just swatch it for you so you can see. So it's not as dark of a color as you as it looks like right here. It's more of a, um, a brighter reddish pink color, um, like a hot pink almost. But anyway, as far as replacing it, you're going to replace your lipstick about once a year. You can replace lip gloss. That is going to be about every 6 to 12 months, um, depending and depending on like what consistency it is, like maybe how tacky it is, does it smell funny, um, that kind of thing. And But lip gloss, that is about 6 to 12 months. And then as far as liquid products, such as like a liquid foundation or um, that kind of thing, then that is usually, you can get about a year out of that. Um, 
it's going to depend and it's also again going to depend on is it is it globby the consistency that kind of thing the good thing about this type of a product because you squeeze it out it's definitely not going to collect as much bacteria in it as something that you are touching directly um and then your blush or other powder products this is a blush but blush or other powder products those are going to also last about a year but some of them they can actually last closer to two years depending and again it's going to depend on how well you take care of it are you using clean brushes are you um you know where is it stored is it getting broken that kind of thing so those kind of things all play into it but uh, a powder product such as this blush or a powder foundation that can actually last up to two years if it's properly taken care of um, and so that's kind of cool <laughs> and then your nail polish is gonna last um, a little bit too so nail polish usually you can start to tell that that's starting to go bad when it starts to get too liquidy and stuff like that um, but nail polish also can last about two years depending and also depending on like did you use it if you had any sort of an infection or anything like that um, but hopefully this video worked i hope you found these tips helpful and again if you have any questions feel free to go ahead and comment in the comments and you can ask your question and if you are watching on youtube then again you can comment in the comments on youtube as well and i will get back to you as soon as possible and so thank you so much for watching if you like my video and you're not already following me then feel free to follow me on Facebook or to subscribe to my YouTube channel and I will see you with my next video. Thanks. Bye.